Welcome to IGSS Online Training. I'm Pierre Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system, IGSS. This is lesson 27, Bulk Editing with Property Table View. I will start by introducing the property table view to you. And uh, the property table view is a time-saving feature in the definition module, which is the main design module in IGSS. I'll take you through a number of use cases. Uh, the first one uh, is a case where we will edit multiple objects in one operation. Then we'll change PLC addresses of a number of atoms or tags in IGSS. And finally, we will also change the color on a number of buttons um, on a diagram. And the final thing I want to show you in property table view, which is a very nice function, is that you can actually copy paste properties from the property table view into Excel, manipulate them in Excel and bring them back again. So that's the agenda for this lesson. Let's start up the definition module. We go into the IGSS start menu. Then we go into the definition module. Close this message. We go into the training area. This is the demo configuration that comes with every IGSS installation. So if you've downloaded IGSS from the internet, you will also have this demo project available. You go into the training area and then you go into the uh, pump station diagram. And what I want to show you now is how I can switch the mode of this diagram so that I see all the properties of all the objects and visuals on the screen right now. Right click on the diagram and choose property table view. Now this is the property table view. The title bar shows you the name of the current diagram and the area. The area is training. And um, then we have a tree view in the left pane showing you all the objects on the diagram, the atoms which corresponds to tags or in-out points in other systems. We can see calculations, we can see OPC items and finally we can see descriptors. And descriptors is the same as a visual or a graphical display of an object in IGSS. Now let's try to change a number of objects in one operation. So let's assume that we want to protect all the objects on this pump station diagram. So instead of going into each individual um, property dialog box, we just go into the objects node here in the tree view and we can see all the objects. And then I can go to the protected by column over here and I can simply select all the PST01 objects like this. Select the first one, hold down the shift key, select the last one in the range, click once in the cell to get the drop down box, click the down arrow, select the protect object and then we press enter and we can see that all objects have been changed and I have now changed about 25 objects in one very simple operation. Okay, let's try another case. Another case would be uh, changing the PLC addresses of a number of tags in IGSS. Uh, this is also very, very easy with the property table view. You simply go into the atoms node in the tree view. So let's assume that we are on node number zero, as you can see here. So we've got all the PLC addressing over here. We've got the driver, we've got the node number, data group, word offset, bit offset. Let's change the node number for all these objects, all these tags that I see on screen. So again, I select the first one, just as I did before, and I scroll down to the bottom, and all these pump station objects, they are supposed to have node number one now. So I just enter one in the last cell of my range and I press enter and there you go I've changed all the tags they have a new node number 
So those were two very, very typical examples of use uh, with a property table view. So let's move on. Now we close the property table view and we go back to the previous diagram because here we have four green buttons and I want to change the color of those four buttons and I can do it individually of course but I can actually go into this property table view to make the same change. Again you can either right click on the diagram and choose property table view or you can press the shortcut key which is control H. Then we resize the property table view window. We move down to the descriptors item. We open it. We choose buttons. And as you can see, we now have the four buttons on the screen. I can select them all. Let's, uh, let's change the fill color of these buttons. So I select them all like this. And by default, it gives you the red, green, blue numbers. But I want to show the real color over here, so I can just right click in the column header and choose show color as color. Then I click on the last one and I want to change it into blue. I select the blue color, I click the OK button and when I leave the property table view window it will be updated on the screen. There you go, I have four nice blue buttons. Right, uh, the final use case I want to show you is a use case where I'm using the uh, copy-paste function to Excel. So let's move into the area menu because now I want to do all the properties in the entire area of this project that I'm looking at. So this would mean hundreds and maybe thousands of objects in a real IGSS project. So, area, property table view, and we can see that I now have the objects, atoms, etc. in the uh, tree view. But what I want to do is I want to go into the atoms item and I want to show you an example of what you can use this for. Now, first of all, let's try the filter function to filter out the objects we want to look at. So, we can place the cursor in this filter field click again and then for example type Q and a star to filter out all the flow meters which start with Q. I press enter. The field turns into red because it shows you that the filter is enabled and now I see all the flow meters here. I can also right click in the column header and say sort ascending. So now I have them in the right order and what I want to do is I want to change the word offset over here. Um, I can change it manually here of course but I want to do it like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and just with an increasing number. So a much easier thing to do would be to select the entire column here word offset like this and then I do a edit copy with header which means that I also get the object name. Then I start up my Microsoft Excel. I start up my Microsoft Excel. I paste the information from property table view and now I can make a nice list over here in Excel. So 0, 1, 2 and instead of typing all the remaining numbers I just pull down the curtain like this and it just keeps increasing the number all the way up to 39. These are the numbers I want to put into IGSS so I just make a copy again control C and I go back to my property table view and notice what I'm doing now because you need to place the cursor in the first field here and then we press paste control V and now I've changed all these word offsets. Okay, finally, uh, if you need further information about the property table view, uh, consult the help file. You can enter it from here, help menu, and then you have all the help for the property table view. If you come in from the main help file, you go into the help topics item in definition, and you find the bulk configuration multi-editing book 
and then you go on to bulk editing with property table view and here we find the information again. That's all for this lesson and this was lesson 27 bulk editing with property table view. Thank you for listening.